Hello everybody, it's Charlie again, and I'm currently playing Horizon Chase Turbo. This is a game that I used to play a lot back on the PS4 days, and sometimes I play it on the PS5, and I kind of just wanted to do a replay review for it in 2024. But yeah, other than that, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another replay review. I'm currently playing Horizon Chase Turbo, obviously. This game is an awesome arcade game that I recommend to anybody to play. You know, reminiscent of, I don't know, Outrun Coast to Coast and games like that, you know. They have some other elements from other games from PS2 era, like uh, Midnight Club, the original, of course. That was the least realistic one. That was more on the arcade side, because, guys, I'll be honest, I suck at these games, right? <laughs> but even though I, I'm terrible at these games, I am willing to play this one. Why? Because this specific game has what it what a rookie needs first of all it has a whole map of rookie races which is what I would get into I did play through most of this game or I would say at some point I'll, well I didn't do the DLC because um, I don't think I bought them but on the PS4 I did and my save didn't transfer over so for the review I went ahead just for you guys you know and I did a bunch of the races again and I completed them but like I said if I can do it you guys can do it you know I know some people are not good at racing games guys I'm definitely not one of those people this is not my genre but this game has a lot of fun to it it has a lot of unique things about it that I I think uh, people should check out obviously it's cartoony styled and it does have those areas like of those countries that remind you that you're there you know you'll see in the next few clips and uh, yeah, if I can win these races, guys, you guys, you guys can, like I said. But anyways, these maps, there's quite a few. There's some in the U.S., there's some in South America, Europe, um, I believe Central America. There's some uh, that they open up as you go on, obviously. I opened up as many as I could. I try to, you know, for the review specifically. But uh, yeah, if like I said, if I could go through this, as you can see, it has a good, uh, you know, assortment on vehicles I showed it more in-depth in another clip and uh, yeah as you go through them you'll notice that everything looks different even though it's cartoony it's not exactly the same map over and over like most of these games used to be or they look so similar in this case they did a pretty good job designing it the gameplay feels good it feels tight um, on the PS5 I think it plays a little bit better than the PS4 but you won't notice much of a difference because the graphical style is made in a very, I don't know, cartoony fashion, obviously. But um, overall, I think this is one of those games that um, may have been missed by quite a few people. And I kind of just, out of curiosity, played it on the PS4. And I put quite a few videos of it on my channel. And people did enjoy it, as far as I can remember. But uh, it should be really cheap nowadays. I don't think it should cost much. As you can see, I picked different vehicles just to show you that each one has a different like amount of speed. Uh, turns are a little bit more difficult with some of them. But it's not that realistic, guys. And another weird thing that's unique, when you play the regular races, I'm playing rookie races mostly here in, in these clips, but when you play the regular ones, you're going to need gas. Yeah, it's one of those games. So you could literally run out of gas during the race. I know. It's crazy, but at first I was annoyed, but then I got used to it, and it wasn't that weird or, you know, or something that was that annoying. I got I got really used to it, and I was able to get through quite a few of the races in my original playthrough. In this playthrough, I did as much as I could for the review because I just really wanted to show you guys of a game that you may be missing out on. And I know a lot of you out there may be like, man, I hate racing games, but this one in particular has its little, you know, arcadey fun factor. Here's some additional stuff where you can win skins, you can win, you know, you can do unique races with unique vehicles. Um, I would recommend doing this. There's also a, a, quite a bit of upgrades that you can get on the cars, believe it or not, even though it's one of those um, arcadey games. So it kind of tries to blend some of the stuff you know from other racers. And I think that's really cool, you know. Um, Spy Hunter would be another one, I guess, that this game would have gotten inspiration from, but without, obviously, the machine guns and stuff. <laughs> the last Spy Hunter game I played a while ago, I don't remember when, which was the last one, but it has influences of all those games. So if any of those games that I mentioned 
were fun for you or enjoyable I think this one may take the cake for you because it's like it's one of those games where you can just go and have a good time and yeah it's just it's it's a fun time guys I think overall one of my favorite vehicles I think it's this one in particular it looks like a Ferrari I think it's a Ferrari I'm not really sure but it, it drives really well and um, the only thing you have to be careful with is the turn sometimes because they come abruptly and very quickly in some of these races like don't get me wrong there is difficulty in the game I'm not gonna make you guys think that you can just go in and breeze through it because that is not the case but I'm about halfway through the review guys so I want to go go ahead and give it a score I believe that for an arcade arcade racer this is a 7 out of 10 um, I think it deserves a 7 you know uh, some people might give it a 6 but I think overall maybe even higher you know I was gonna give it a 7.5 you know but um, I think it's a 7 that would be the fair score as much fun as I had and it really it sits on the fun factor mostly you know if the art style is, is interesting and stuff maybe some of you guys will disagree and give it a higher score because it, it is pretty fun some of the stuff feels repetitive at some point unfortunately but like I said, don't play too much, come back, you know, jump in and out and, you know, I mean, you know, don't worry about that, you know, um, just try to get the fun out of it, that's the whole point of this game. But uh, yeah, there's a few other interesting things that I'm going to show you um, in the upcoming clip here, as you can see I won again because I'm really good at racing games, I'm not, I'm not. But anyways, as you can see here, there's tournaments as well for each, basically, um, city or state that you go to around the world and I haven't tried this one I don't think I even tried it in the original but I could be wrong like I said my save I don't know what happened to it <laughs> um, here I'm in Dubai I think or in yeah one of those places around the world you can see the palace is visible or I think they put the name at, at the beginning it's one of those places in near the desert areas in the Middle East the point is that the cars you could tell when you're doing the race what other cars you might be able to actually purchase or buy obviously with in-game money but I did say it at the beginning there is DLC in the game so heads up guys and I'm sure it's really cheap DLC but it just depends on how much fun you're having playing this I'm not gonna tell you guys to go out and get it I, like I said I don't recall buying any DLC but if I did it had to be like really cheap I don't waste my money on that stuff usually but um, yeah this is a game that I, I recommend because there it's also this is the thing too it, when you bump cars it's still very arcadey like you don't damage the car which may bother some of you what ends up happening is like bumper cars you know what I'm saying you can't boom boom you can knock somebody off the track or push them onto these little arrows on the side here and maybe it'll make them do a flip and turn and fuck up your race or whatever but it's not really an annoyance like other games that are very realistic this game kind of like stays in in its lane its own lane and um yeah there's really not much else i could say other than it does have pretty cool vehicles as well like i'm going to show you some of the vehicles you can see the stats of handling the nitro the acceleration and the top speed I think acceleration is probably one of the most important aspects of one of these vehicles that's what I pick it because the top speed really you know it doesn't matter how long it takes to build the top speed you need to be on the takeoff so you could have a little bit of a head start you guys that know about racing games probably can probably give me pointers about this you know I have very limited info because I don't know much about cars yeah that's a little secret about me <laughs> I know very basic things about vehicles but anyways, here like out like I mentioned, out we're on coast to coast. This is this called this one is called Summer Vibes. It's one of the modes at the beginning where you saw in the first clip. And Summer Vibes is really cool because you're basically uh, I'm I'm gonna just say this is girlfriend. His girlfriend is driving, and she's an excellent racer as you can see. <laughs> Obviously, you're in control of it. There's several tracks for this that you can beat. So the game does give you a good amount of modes. They, it tries to give you some extra stuff I think the first time I bought it it didn't have these many modes and then over time they kept updating it because I think this game is updated quite a bit in fact before I started making the review there was an update that stopped me from playing the game <laughs> or um, it didn't take very long obviously it was like 255 MB or something like that like 
just a few megabytes but whatever they're doing to the game it, i think it's making it better because i think it's even playing better than i remember to be honest so gameplay is good artwork and graphics are good despite it looking kind of retro it, and i know some of you guys out there like retro games just like i do so yeah this fits in perfectly like i said the handling don't worry about it it is not a serious racing game okay if i can win a race here you guys can i promise but um i'm not trying to convince you guys to get something you don't want <laughs> okay obviously you know it's up to you guys but yeah this is a game that yeah you got to try out um also it has a good amount of vehicles and stuff you know and some of the vehicles are ridiculous if you can win a race with some of these vehicles i'll be shocked because some of them are really not good you know but i guess that's part of the difficulty right i think but yeah like i said gas is the one thing you have to keep in mind for some of these races you need gas crazy right anyways guys here's the basic options at the end of the game and it's very basic uh sound controls general as aspects to the game in, in you know in a general sense but guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it here like i said seven out of ten check it out other than that I, ho I do hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe when you get a chance and like i always say go game